In this presentation, we'll show how to use R to fit data to an exponential fit. We will use the log linear approach. The data we will be examining will be how air pressure depends on altitude. We start by plotting the data in Excel and fitting it to an exponential so we have something to compare our result to. Shown here, we are using the little c, r's concatenate function, to construct a vector of altitudes, to construct another vector of pressures, and then to combine that altitude and pressure vector into a data frame we are calling air. Here we are using r's plot function with five arguments. The first argument is our x's, air dollar sign altitude, uh, the second argument is our y's, air dollar sign pressure. The third argument is main equal atmospheric pressure. That will be the title of the graph. Uh, we also have arguments for the x label and y label. On line 14 of the code, we are using R's LM, linear model method. Now, this is normally for a straight line. And then we used it uh, previously, uh, taking the log of the y's and the log of the x's to get a power law fit. This time we want an exponential fit, and we will take what's called a log linear approach. We will take the log of the y's, but not of the x's. So in lines 14 and 15, we have a name for our fit, air underscore fit, uh, equals lm, open parenthesis. We're taking the log of the y's, so it's log, open parenthesis, air, dollar sign, pressure, close parenthesis, that was, pressure was the y's, and we're taking the log of the y's, tilde, when using the linear model, it's y tilde x, and the x in this case are air, dollar sign, altitude, and then overall, close the parenthesis. So one more time, the log is taken of the y's, but not of the x's. In line 16, we got a summary of that fit, and we can see that in the picture of the console. And once again, we see that you know, what we would normally call the slope is a number that we saw also in the Excel plot. Recall that you cannot take the logarithm of zero or a negative number for that matter. Here we are taking the log of the y data, but not of the x data. So one of our x points was in fact a zero and it's perfectly fine. It's the y's which are not allowed to have zero or negative numbers. And that's why if one gets the axes backwards, an exponential fit would not work either here in R or in Excel for the same reason that here in R it's explicit there's a log and in Excel it's behind the scenes and implied but there's still the same log. In line 19, we are extracting the factor, and by the factor, we mean the number that appears inside the exponential function in the exponential fit. So air underscore fit is the linear model. It has a number of properties. One of them is the coefficients, so air dollar sign coefficients. That happens to be a vector, so square brackets, and the components of that vector are named, and one of them is named air dollar sign altitude. I always copy it from the summary. And there we see the number down in the console at the bottom, minus 0 0.216. In line 23, we're extracting the coefficient. So again, the linear models air underscore fit. It has coefficients, so dollar sign coefficients. This time we are after the one that is named parenthesis intercept with a capital I, always copy from the summary. That's the easiest way to get the spelling right. And then that needs to be in an exponential to recover the number that you see in Excel as the coefficient out front of the exponential. So that is also in line 23, the exponential function, parentheses, air underscore fit, dollar sign, coefficient, square bracket, quote, parenthesis, intercept with a capital I, close parenthesis, close quote, close square bracket, close parenthesis. So now we're getting ready to display the equation. So the first thing we are doing is rounding factor and rounding coefficient so that there are not too many decimal places in our displayed equation. 
in line 29, we are constructing the displayed equation. So fit underscore EQ equals, and we're using R's paste function to put together all the pieces. In this case, there are five. Y equals in quotes, because that's exactly what we want, Y equal, then the number, which is the coefficient, then the exp open parenthesis, which we want again to be exactly like that, so it's in quotation marks, then the number that is factor, and then finally uh, x and close parenthesis, and again we want it just like that, so it's in quotes. And then finally we use text to place that fit equation on our graph. Remember that the first two arguments are an x and a y, and they correspond roughly to the middle of the displayed equation. So we are putting it at an x of approximately 20 and a y of approximately 10. And that's where you see the displayed equation in the plot shown. So here we are using R's curve method to plot the fit equation on the graph. So that's shown in line 33 curve, open parenthesis, coefficient, C-O-E-F-F, -F, uh, times, E-X-P, open parenthesis, factor, times X, close parenthesis. So that is the function. Remember to make the multiplication explicit. So coefficient times the exponential function and factor times X. The uh, second parameter there is the from parameter, what, what x to start at. So it can be made explicit here. It's just uh, written down as understood being the second argument. The third argument is 54. That's the x we're going up to. The add argument is saying that we are not going to just plot this function, but we are adding it to the plot that we previously had of the data. And the final argument shown there is that we are making, giving it a color of blue.